We now live in the day and age that if you want to learn a programming language, you can also do it through ChatGPT. But in this video, I just want to clarify that that's not the best option for learning a programming language. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. So as you can see from the sidebar, I've been playing around with ChatGPT just a little bit. I have maybe 13 or 14 questions in there that I have asked it. And I've just been reading through the responses it has been giving me and seeing how they work, how I can implement them in Python. And they're pretty good. They're actually really, really good responses. But you do have to take all the responses with a grain of salt. Because while ChatGPT does know how to give you a good response, it's not always going to give you that good response the first time you ask. And you also need to be able to know what you're asking for. So this all requires some prior knowledge of the programming language that you're using before you even ask the question. One example of ChatGPT giving you a good response, but an inaccurate one, is asking for it to create a script in Python that runs two functions in parallel. Now the problem with this response is that it told us we should use the threading module. And threading is not a module used for parallel code. It does not run code in parallel. It uses something that's called concurrency. So this is one of the major problems that if you use ChatGPT, it might give you some documentation like this. And at that point, if you don't know the difference between concurrency and parallelism, you're going to fall in this trap of using threading for something that you should be using multi-processing for. And the example works. The example will give you code that will run in what seems to be a parallel execution. But as a programmer, you need to know better than that. You need to know that threading will not give you code that will truly run in parallel. And down below, it does say that we can alternatively use the multi-processing module, which should have been the first suggestion because this does achieve multi-processing or true parallelism in Python. So all I'm trying to say is that when you're learning through ChatGPT, you're going to get a lot of good information, but a lot of it is going to be inaccurate. So I highly recommend that you actually take a course online somewhere, or you watch some YouTube videos, and that you take the time to properly learn the language before using ChatGPT. ChatGPT can answer simple questions, and if you have a problem understanding a very simple concept, it can help you understand it even better, but it should not be the only resource you use to learn a programming language because you're going to be learning a lot of wrong information. But if you want to learn something such as what is a generator in Python and can you give me an example? This could be something nice because it will give you some simplified explanations. But again, I do not recommend only using this explanation because it is generated by AI, which means it's using a lot of resources that are unchecked. And while it can give you a lot of accurate responses, none of these are going to be guaranteed to be authentic. And sometimes you will get some errors that can just ruin your code. But with all that being said, if you are new to Python and want to completely master the language, I do recommend taking my 16 hour course. It covers everything you need to know about learning the Python language so that when you use ChatGPT, you can make some correct choices. Not to mention that this course is backed by a 30 day money back guarantee. So in case at any point you find that this course is not right for you, you can instantly claim your refund. So I've left a link in the description box down below. You will get 80% off if you use that link and this will help you master Python in a structured manner. And also to answer the question of will ChatGPT replace programmers? Of course, ChatGPT said it's not going to happen. It's going to just be a tool that will aid programmers. But ChatGPT is playing the long game. I mean, 100% ChatGPT is smiling as it's typing this because it is guaranteed that AI will eventually take over our jobs. There might be very few of us left to maintain ChatGPT, but it is unlikely that we will be able to use it as a tool that aids us forever. Because here it claims that AI can't really understand us as good as humans, which might be the case for now, but ChatGPT understands us quite well. And I mean, it might even understand us better than a lot of the developers we are used to working with. So if it can do that right now, just imagine in five or 10 years, what it's going to be able to do. It might even understand us better than we understand ourselves. So it's very debatable whether we will have a job in 20 years or 30 years in the Python field, but you should not stop learning Python right now because even if it's going to replace us in 30 years, what's stopping you from using it to become rich in the next 10 to 20 years? So I hope that doesn't demotivate you because just like anything in life, 
it's eventually going to be outdated and there's going to be something new that we're going to be able to do. But with all that being said, I hope you got a general idea of the capabilities of ChatGPT when you should use it to learn and when you should not use it. And with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.